Name another bitch looking this mean. Looking like fresh out the fucking magazine. What you know about looking this fly? What you know about disease? Hey! What you. Right. Hey. Name another bitch looking this mean. Looking like fresh out the hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for watching i know i look a bit toe up right now so yeah today i'm here to give you guys a first impressions slash review so if you haven't already guessed from the title and the fact that everybody and their mama has already done this video i'm going to be doing a Fenty Beauty first impressions video for you guys today. Auntie Riri Fenty came out with some new products. So she came out with setting powders and concealers. So I believe there are 50 um, shades of the concealers. I'm not too sure how many shades there are the setting powders, but there's quite a few. I was already going to pick up these products because I just I love me a bit of Auntie Riri and I love Fenty as a brand. I feel like what she's done with the brand is just amazing. So um, I have the Fenty foundation. I will not be using this foundation today, however, because I wanted to use the Fenty products with my everyday glam routine. I wanted to incorporate the products, hence why I wanted to use the products with the makeup I already have. When a product is good, and how you know a product is good is that it works with, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just my opinion. It works with all of your makeup. I don't wanna just have Fenty products and only be able to use my Fenty concealer with my Fenty foundation. So I'm literally gonna be doing my normal full face and then when I get to the concealer and the setting powder, I will stop and show you guys what I'm doing. For my foundation today, I will be using my Beloved does natural radiant long wear foundation and I have it in the color Malco. So I've done what I can do on my base. I've done my foundation, my primer, my powder underneath my eyebrows and now I'm going to go in with the concealer. So I picked up the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This concealer promises to give you an instant photo soft coverage, long wear, light as air and crease proof. Claims to be a soft matte concealer and builds to a full coverage. As you can see, I have quite deep set under eyes and I have creases as well. So anything that claims to be full coverage and doesn't crease, I'm all for. I've got my concealer in the shade 360. If you follow me on my Snapchat, you would have seen that I've already swatched it earlier today. I wish I'd gone for a bit more of a lighter color. This is a bit deeper than how I want my concealer to be. Maybe I should have gone for the one above this, which is, I think, 350. So this is what it swatches to. It's quite yellow in tone, but I like yellow concealers because I feel like it cancels out my deep set under eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop talking and apply the concealer. So from all the Um, reviews I've watched everybody has said it's a creamy concealer and I can definitely vouch for that it kind of reminds me of my um concealer that I always use my Maybelline fit me concealer it's kind of that consistency everybody says that you should start small and then build up so that is what I'm trying to do I'm not I kind of start small girl because I'm quite heavy handed with my makeup. I watched Jenny Jenkins review yesterday. She advised that you let the concealer dry down before you go ahead and blend it out. Um, I think that's dry down enough. So I'm just going to take my... Um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blend it out. So I'm liking this already. I'm really liking the way that this has 
blended out um i've seen sorry that my eyes red there was something in there and I just used my hand to just smudge it and now it looks like i've been crying so I like how this is now. However, because of my deep set under eyes, I do like to go in with quite a bit of concealer. So I am going to apply um, another. And what I must say is that I love this applicator. It's large. It's not like other concealer sticks where this bit is quite small so you have to keep on going in that's not the case with this this concealer is definitely creamy but not thick if that makes sense also i will say that the concealer is very easy to blend and became quite seamless with my foundation then i always take some on my chin on the top here and then just a bit down my nose So far, I'm really, 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 really liking how this concealer looks. I must say though, I would like my creases here to be a bit more covered. I don't know, I feel like when I do my makeup normally, I don't notice them as much maybe. But anyhow, we are going to go in with the setting powder so there have been a lot of mixed reviews about this setting powder as well the overall opinion that i got with this setting powder that is not a setting powder you can bake with which just leaves me in a bit of a pickle because what else am i supposed to do with a setting powder for my under eye there is just there is no way i can't bake under my eyes i have to bake under my eyes i have deep set under eyes however though i love the packaging i think the packaging is what kind of sold it to me as well i was like this is gorgeous so again i watched jenny jenkins video and she said I have to press it in so i'm gonna start off lightly and set underneath the eye oh by the way i picked this up in the color banana compared to my other under eye powders this just took a lot more work to get it to the coverage that i usually prefer it has a slight slight ever so slight scent so far so good so let's take it up a notch and see what happens i just feel that this powder can be a bit difficult to work with and I would reach for my other under eye powders rather than this one. Hmm. 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 The powder itself is a good powder, but it's not as heavy as I like my powder, but I'm scared to go in with a lot because with all the reviews I've been watching, it's been like kind of less is more. It's definitely not as heavy as I would like my powder. So I'm going to go in with more and let's see what we get. So as you can see, it took me several layers for me to get it to the coverage that I prefer. And even then I had to stop because I didn't want it to get too cakey. It's very skin like what I mean by skin like it's very skin like usually by this time i'm looking like a you know a drag queen darling it's not for your beat your face like heavy beat kind of girl which i kind of am i must say though i'm getting some patches here and here and i feel like i would have to apply a lot of powder underneath my eyes for it to get to where I usually have my makeup and I don't want it to look too bright under the eye. So I'm going to put one more layer, just one, because what you guys might be seeing on screen and what I'm seeing in the mirror might be different. For me personally, this powder is just too much work. It's starting to get patchy over here. And I'm thinking I should have just left it and not added more. 
you know what i'm gonna leave it like that i feel like on camera it looks very bright underneath my eyes kind of brought out the texture in my skin i don't know if you guys can see that let's just go in and do the rest of the face and then i'll give you guys my final thoughts and tell you guys what i think i am back and i have finished the rest of my face and i'm here with my finished fenty face before i get on with the review and my final thoughts i'm wearing c Lux beauty lashes and these are in the style scorpio i think i even love them more than my nasty lashes dare i say it on my lips i am wearing i'm wearing zuri lip gloss and this is in the color city i believe it's just this really gorgeous like pink lip gloss and then to make it lighter i went over with this pretty little thing lip gloss actually i'm gonna do a quick update of this hair i did a review on this hair about a month ago or a month and a half ago maybe two it's a silky it's just soft there's no tangling shedding is very very minimal the frontal is amazing held up really really well i have no complaints about this hair at all this hair is gorgeous having the length 26 26 26 and i have in a 20 inch frontal so i will leave all the links for that down below so you guys can go and check that out i must say the finished result i'm really really in love with the concealer i'm absolutely in love with it's a gorgeous gorgeous concealer very creamy very rich this concealer did not come up patchy for me i don't have any problems with this concealer i will definitely be incorporating and using this in my glam routine and when i do my makeup defo 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 would recommend this concealer it is worth your money the powder i don't know this powder is not going to give you that drag queen beat to the gods kind of under eye even though i don't know whether mine is looking quite bright on camera but i will say i've added a lot of powder to appreciate the skin like look that is given to me it hasn't completely hidden my creases neither has it completely hidden my texture and my pores so there i'm a bit like mm, because when I use my powders, like when I use my Revolution powder, when I use my Collection powder, I get that full coverage. I would use this maybe in the daytime. If this finishes, I wouldn't rush to go and buy it anymore. Just the concealer, I would give a strong 8, 9 out of 10. It's definitely something I would buy again. The powder, I don't know. I would give it a 6 overall though i really like how my face has turned out that is everything for my first impressions fancy review video so i really really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys thought about the fenty product down below whether you loved it whether you didn't or if you haven't purchased these fenty products whether you'll be going out and purchase them if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my channel um what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and yeah i will see you guys in my next one Bye. Hey, name another bitch looking this main looking like fresh out the magazine said i'm here what you know about looking this fine what you know about what you know